Sorry, look at this goddamn buy. It's double tech nine raid boss. We've got Ooh. two grenades. Are these nades going into heaven? This is go. absolutely mental. Whatever I'm seeing, I'm a bit grossed out, but I'm also not able to take my eyes away from the screen. Where? Lining up the utility, yeah. the, lining up Hot the, roof. Uh, the artillery. They've programmed it in, and it's very underwhelming. Oh, goodness. What? Oh, Alexa B with three. On the dual Berettas, let's see, come on. We haven't seen anyone do it yet. Keto has inspired a lot of confidence in these dual Berettas. And Alexa B feeling it right now. Dennis has picked up one on Saval there, but I'm still waiting. There's still two more kills for these dualies to grab. That is not how Sprout wanted this round to go, I can tell you that much. I love the idea, right? They're trying to get out the door with a hut, nade, uh, a hut roof nades, knowing that if there's anyone there, they're going to get blown out of the water. But uh, yeah, Alexa B, he's on the other side of the hut. He's next to the vent. I feel so bad for Rush as well. You know, it, it happens. It happens. Uh, sometimes you want to you show some of the third person stuff and then boom, Alexa B gets three kills out of nowhere. Spitty and an undoable round with that bomb dropped. And MBK, he's dropped off the hut. Spitty might hear that one, but it won't matter. Quick tap in the face. And let's check out that dual Beretta 3K, because, oh, gee, they are going to be very happy about the start of this map. Here it is. We get the dynamic camera on. Oh. <laughs> they have their back turned. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. He's laughing at that point. Ha, 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 ha. There it is. The pistol round. Alexa B gets them there with the dual Berettas. And he's looking happy about it. Yeah, fully going out for Sprout right after that one, I would be inclined to agree. Your plan just got absolutely uprooted. But something like that shows that Sprout are clearly, you know, there's a reason they like this map. Both teams do. They've clearly got a lot of ideas to show us in this series. And hopefully there's more of, uh, you know, more of where that came from. About it. Molly deep. He's going to hear the tick and he's going to fire back. But these Glocks, oh, they, they have a bite. And Favon's going to get that opening kill. Now they can drop towards the B site if they want. Flash into the spawn. Issa dodges it well, but the pistol comes in close and does some damage. Mantu cleans it up. And the shotgun, well, does what shotguns do. Two quick kills from Alexa B. He's all about these uh, off meta weapons, this guy. I like it. What I want, and what a gun that I think should be used more. You ready to hear me out on this one? Okay. Me, is are you going to say? Can I guess? You already know what it is. Is it going to be the Nova? No, oh, or the Negev? Oh, you're wrong on okay, both. Okay, wait. Where, where, I thought you knew me Where are you better. going? Where are well, you going with this yeah, one? now I don't even want to say. Just, oh, whoa. I'm kind of upset. Oh, okay. I thought we were close. Oh, well, tell me. M two four nine. Oh, even M249 worse. M two four nine literally is on the precipice of being the best gun in the game if it wasn't so damn expensive. Yeah, that's the issue. I'll expand my thoughts on that one more once this buy round is out of the Please way. Don't. It's going to be Rifles here for Sprout. The only man who's a little bit limited is a fella going by the name of Snatchy. They've downgraded him onto a Galil. And look at this. We put a GoPro on the front of Alexa B's shotgun. It seems deadly. But he's here. Bye bye. Hold the fort. That nade raining in. Double nade. And they're pretty terrible nades. Like, you know. Uh, yeah, it's like if you're hanging on the edge, it's going to get yeah. you. But as soon as he hears them, he moves to the other side of the hut. So, yeah. Free damage. Take the free damage, Harry. Well, free is good. Right now, round progression. It's free for or Sprout. They get in, they deal with Valde, and now they sit in this five on four. Mantu's taken up position down here in hell, but he gets flashed off. And that's carved a path into this B site. Alexa B is rotated in with his auto shotgun. Let's see if he can get stuck into this round. Yeah, good luck retaking with that gun. That's going to be interesting as Mantu has to come in late from ramp. There's still a lurker in the lobby side to Spitty. Usually tucked behind the boxes close to hell, but this is a nice way to cut off the ramp rotate instead. That's assuming OG go for this. And right now, that's an assumption that is incorrect. Moving away to the spawn, looking to save their guns. Right cool, to be honest. Five alive inside of that B site with this lurk. It, it was just not realistic. It was just not going to happen. So OG, they lose that early ramp fight. And the cookie crumbles. Sprout take a bite back and they pick up their first. Mantu's usually pretty quick into CT with the uh, with the AWP, but not today. And Harry, I know you're sitting there looking at me. I know you want to talk about it. Okay, it's five thousand two hundred dollars. Okay, that's just way no. too much money to yeah, justify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet if it was if it was eight hundred dollars cheaper, right? I bet it would be used all the time. It I would disagree. be it would be the second iteration of the Krieg. <laughs> 
got to argue this, okay? I'm not going to agree. It is... Okay, man. Next time you... Anyone watching at home, next time you play at a pug in ESCA or whatever you're doing, buy an M249. Your team are going <sighs> to literally hate you for it. You will be the laughing stock of your team until one round later where you are the guy sat top of the board, 100 kills to your name, undefeated. You got so many bullets. It's pinpoint accurate. It's basically a 100 round M4A4 and it feels better in your hands. I don't know, man. I'm telling you, Hugo, keep it's, your eyes peeled because yeah, okay. you've seen me. Yeah, win. I was going to say it is sad because I want to argue it, but like you've had results, Harry, but you know, you're pretty good. I've at even seen Connor Gervin done it a few times and uh -huh. now he's a big fan as well. We're, we're converting others around to the cause. It's just the price, mate. I'm frugal, me. You know me. Unless it's an AWP, I'm not interested, really. Five grand, that's far too much money. But you, your chain cost five grand, Harry. That's true. That's true, man. Not to mention, if you skimp out on the utility and maybe even armor, it's all the same as like an M4 4 by anyway. Who needs so. a molly or a smoke when you've got suppressing fire? Exactly, right? Hugo. That's the attitude. It's AKs out for Sprout here. They're already one and two on the scoreboard, and they're looking for a little bit more. Alexa B dives down through the vents, and he's going to clear that out. Realizes that no one's gone for a vent. Drop double nade back into the hut. Continues to get nothing done. <laughs> I do like the precedent of throwing those nades, though. It denies this early hot control yeah. for OG, and it has forced them to get a bit more creative as to how they approach this A site. This is a heaven molly, so D here throwing that in. I imagine Sprout are going to burst off the back of it. I love how much they're on this T roof area. There come the Molotovs, and in come the T's. Alexa B finding one of the shotgun, but it's a double trade back for Sprout, and we are going to see A overwhelmed. Great utility. They even smoke off that top rafter position, right? So Issa was playing there initially and he's gonna have to move out mantu nice shot with the orb is it going to be another retake round for og do they do they have the wits to go for it and molly's going to push dennis forward there's no one in the lobby despite mantu's kill and he's cleared that he's realized it and he's going to turn around to deal with the main man but this main man of mantu is going to have to fall out he can't compete and sprout again they call og's bluff they make them save yeah, a really nice execute. Like from, from round one of this game, we've been seeing them for a sprout. They've had great utility, great ideas. Not just mollies in heaven, hut, smoke in main, top rafter smoke. That's what forces Issa wide. You know, you can hide in it if you want, but I would uh, let all your teammates die in the process. Very methodical T side so far for sprout. Quite the polar opposite uh, of OG. Well, not not necessarily, but like we don't see these heavy utility executes for OG. They love taking outside, doing those wide smokes. But we'll come to see all that later on. Right now, to pause a bit of a break in the action, and you can see. Look at the KDs of OG. Alexa B six and one, Man two four and zero, oh, NBK two and zero. Oh. Okay, Avaldi having a rough time on the ramp and that rotate position. Issa barely seen anyone, but. Uh, that goes to show, despite the kills looking really good for OG, it's not really coming down to the kills. It's coming down to those first couple of entries and then Sprout often just planting and winning the round off the back of it. It's like Inferno all over again. So what's OG's solution? Do you want to start to bring in aggression? Do you want to start taking lobby and getting in the face? I can't wait to find out. OG are not shy on the manpower to come up with solutions to problems. Snatchy is more in the business of causing problems, though. And he's dealt with one man early on. Mantu's AWP already removed from the round. Doesn't get to play into it. While all this chaos has happened, these outside smokes have gone down. Dennis has crossed behind them down here towards B. No one has rotated yet for the OG side. And it looks like they might try and pincer a ramp now. This is a nice idea. It's not uncommon for the ramp player to just be playing over towards ramp, drop down at the first side of contact, and that's where Valdez moving now. As he goes into B, it's not the safe haven that OG are expecting. Dennis Ooh. running the gauntlet has dealt with Valdez. Alexa B falls and ramp room is controlled now by Sprout. It's a B plant all day long. MBK and Issa are probably going to retrieve that AWP in main and just head off for the save. 
it looked like that outcycle came in very late from MBK as well. I don't really know what happened there because as Mantu dies with the AWP in main, he probably could have helped support outside because he's dead so quick. Oh dear, no AWP saved either. Uh, MBK is like pivoting behind the garage and the blue boxes and, uh, and, and Sprout just get that player down on B. Valdi rotates late. I'd imagine off the back of the info coming in late. Uh, you know, that, that info as well is so under indecisive. It's not, oh guys, they're in secret. It's Guys, they could be secret. They could be B. We don't know. And as a result, Valdo rotates into the waiting arms of Dennis, who hits the perfect timing. And even though that ramp rotate comes through, Sprout, a Sprout overwhelm without a lost player. Look at the health. So much damage done by these M4s, yet no kills. And only one gun saved for Issa 2. Yeah, a lot of that was reliant on Snatchy getting that opening kill in door, swinging it open, not nading it. Even though the molly pushes the door into him, it's not a problem. Posts up, sees the repeat, boom, Mantu's gone. So Sprout in control right now, three to two up. And an eco for OG. Most smoke to give the illusion that there could be a vent drop. East is fighting outside in the meantime, but he is getting pincered from the uh, silo and a man on red. That's Dennis creeping on forward. Issa cut down by Dennis, and that's now the one M4 dropped already. So any hope of turning this round on its head is pretty much out the window with it. slow and it's patient from Valde. Sadly, patience ain't going to save you from uh, from Spiddy up here. This is kind of what we saw from Sprout back on uh, on train. You know, they're just not going to make these mistakes, especially when they know you're low money, bleed out the clock. Coming into main. Spitty in that A site, there's no one here. They've already cleared out that first kill. They've already opened up A. Snatchy brings the bomb late. Alexi B on the edge of the smoke. Valdi making noise, he's grabbed the M4. Oh, that might dip bait Dennis in. Now Alexi can go through and it fades. He finds a dick, but nothing more. That is very unfortunate. Seeing Alexi struggle with getting kills from behind. Think back to that B bomb site on Inferno. And the planter. Ooh. Don't, actually, don't think back to that. It's horrible. But it, it really doesn't matter all too much, right? It's one gun safe for Valde anyway. He should be fine at getting away with this one. Mantu hanging around on ramp with his P2. But no real reason to move apart from getting away from the bomb near the end of the round. This is good for Sprout, though. Money building. Look at that cash, right? No rebuys other than utility, and they've got multiple players above the 10k mark, so they are going to be in a very good spot for the remainder of this half, really, or at least the next few rounds, right? Assuming OG don't start to take flawless ones themselves. Dennis, very quick reaction. Initially, doesn't realize where he's getting shot from. That's a USP for you, but does take the kill anyway. Mantu has Glass Orb. The chatter at any moment. An outside round now from Sprout. Snatchy here with this orb. Going to get himself behind red, but this is where Mantu is waiting for this peak. Dennis is there as well. I wonder if they're going to try and boost Snatchy up. I feel like, especially with where Mantu's positioned right now, that would be a death sentence for Snatchy. Unless they boost him at the far left side. He's outside smoke, sailing through the air. They arrive now to facilitate this cross, and now it falls to Mantu to hit the timing shot. There's the first following up. This is going to give safe passage to the rest of the gang to get down, and Snatchy boosted up and over. Stairs right into the flashback. Very, very slow on this approach. Ah, oh, Sprout. Favin still waiting in the hut, still waiting to pounce at the right timing. And MBK gets the information. They're trying Ooh. to cross into the garage, but it's a dink and nothing else for MBK. 
Outside now taken. And this is where, as, as, as uh, Sprout start to wrap into heaven, this is where OG would love to be pressuring Hut and trying to reclaim Lobby to better hold on to this A site. But that is denied right now by the presence of Favon. So his role is key. Oh my. Molotov throwing in from the top of roof and that there forces the reposition out from Mantu. This A site has just crumbled under the pressure of Sprout. It's a bomb plant and OG, they're saving again. I've never seen so many saves, but I don't even want to critique them because it's the right call being made by OG. These are just impossible rounds. It's not like they're you know, trading effectively early and it's coming down to 2vx's. No, this is just a, another 2v5 where Sprout get a bomb plant without having lost a player. We don't have anyone overstepping, right? Favon, he shows his presence in the hut. He doesn't commit to the repeat, knowing there's an orb there. Molly comes down on the site, pushing Mantu back. He takes a shot. Then off the back of that shot, Favon knows he can push. And Sprout just running down. They're even hunting these kills too. Valde, he needs to get both kills if he wants to survive this round. There's one. Second coming through. Great spray from Valde. But the bomb should kill him here, right? It's just above him. Where's he going to go? Run, Valde, run! And there's nowhere to hide. Right, quickly, everyone tweet at Favon. Tell him to buy an M249 for me. <laughs> Why? Because he's got the money. He's got the money, man. 12 that's grand. all the reason that's, you need. That's it. Dear, I hope he's not looking at Twitter right now. Probably got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, this is a great game for Sprout. They're just so so methodical in taking their areas. It certainly hurts the MBK. He gets that damage off. He gets a spray, but he isn't able to convert a kill to Deha. Moving outside, Sprout were able to get that flank in. The money's gone again. You could justify a buy here with Alexi dropping one and Valdi buying another. An AWP, maybe a couple of guns, but really you should just be half buying and, and saving for later if you want everything. This is already a great T side from Sprout. 5 2. Could be a little bit more investment. There it is. Gun dropped over. So there's still a good chance that OG make this round interesting and make something happen. But as we've seen in the past, Sprout will not make it easy for you. More smokes outside. Some players towards the ramp side. And we could see one more of those B splits. There's actually no one playing ramp either. And Dennis is on the other side of the smoke. Considering both sides, Vald is spamming the door and he's going to take down Favon as well. Alexi B hears the footsteps. Will he pounce off the back of them? Dennis has gone slow. Oh, he spots the legs. That's so unfortunate. We saw Tabson in so many of those similar positions the other day against Nib. Vald holding on to B, doing what he does best with two, but still trades coming into secret. And the lack of weaponry on the remainder of these players is proving to be an issue. The MBK gone as well. And Issa... Nice kill. This is the best chance OG have had it around since Sprout started streaking them together. Can he deliver though? Can he to deliver the goods in this 1v2? The bomb gets dropped over to Diha. It's the two poles now communicating in Polish left up. Issa, oh, he's seen the head. Snatchy down on the ramp, not giving a peek over and Issa is just oh. waiting. Oh, there he is. He sees the tip and oh, there's the blinding and oh, Snatchy nails the shot. It is the ultimate tease. Six on the board for Sprout and OG now coming in with another investment. Can't believe D have full white him as well. Now that's just sweaty. That's just uh, unaccountable. And <laughs> what can you do? It must feel nice to lose a round where you at least gave it a go though, right? Five saves in a row from OG before Sprout finally kill everyone. <laughs> Not that that feels much better either, right? Losing the round. And Alexi B, he had the chance, man, but that smoke fade. Dennis really took his time with that outside cross. Snatchy almost a 16k as well. Hopefully he can drop over some guns forward so he's not wasting that maxed out cash. And two has his orb back. This time armored up behind it as well. He's playing passive outside. There's no smokes down this round for Sprout, but they might go back to it later. He is still hanging around in the spawn, holding for aggressive CTs. And yeah, here come the smokes from Sprout, lining them up. And to, I mean, how much impact can you really have? Again, the, the issue has been these B rotates for OG at times, but it doesn't look like it's necessarily a hard B hit. We still have two players inside of the door. Mantu can't see a thing now, smoked off. CTs drop one in front of the door, that's a good call. Sprout are going to rely on the misinformation. Oh, Mantu has a gap. That close smoke failed. He, he could see, he could tell that no one is crossed up to red. And so OG don't need to worry about lower right now. This is really, really good information for OG and they are ready for this A burst. 
He's uh, flashed off the angle only for a moment. Gets one blind. Diha in with the trade. Alexa B. Oh, Ooh. he gets taken down atop the hut. Diha oh. on a double. And now the bomb plant coming in. Molotov in heaven denies the rotation from Mantu. Three on four. It might have to be another save. The fact that Sprout have made this map look like this is yeah. not how Nuke is played. This is painful. They are, uh, they're, their calling has just been incredible, and really that's the case across every one of the maps in this series thus far. Yeah, you can't get better than that round, right? Assuming Mantu had that gap the entire time, which certainly looked like he did. He, he didn't move away from the angle. He scoped up on it. He can make the cool guys. They're throwing fake smokes. There's no one here. Don't rotate B. Now, it, was, it is worth noting. I think it was Valdir. It has been in the past. He was lower. There was someone lower for OG. But that could have just been off the back of coming out to support Secret, coming up the vent later. And the fact that OG had three still on the A site, despite those outside smokes, screams to me that they knew exactly what was going on. But knowing is half the battle. And this fast play out of the door is perfect. Issa opens up, he does his job, trade in for Diha, clears Alexi B. Alexi's having a really rough game right now. He had that fantastic pistol round. Six and five though. Caught in the smoke the round prior, blown off the uh, hut roof. Even though he's top fragging, you know, he's just, uh, yeah, getting caught out. Sprout, fast, down the vent they go. Dennis is gonna be able to cleanly get down with no noise being made. MBK has had enough of waiting around. He is chasing that kill and he will get it, but are they ready for the second man below the silo? It's Valdir. Is there gonna be anyone crossing? It might not matter again. Dennis is wrapping round. Oh. And if he has MBK from this position, he should have him dead. Oh, Valdir, oh, I mean. Oh, Valdez jiggled. He's given it a little wiggle. And so he's still alive. He's still a threat here outside. Holds on. Mantu has rotated into Garage as well to help out, but this has left other avenues of the map a little more empty than maybe you would like. OG, they try and jiggle it up. They try and move players back. You see Mantu rotating in towards Hell. Perfect timing on this. They entrust outside control to Valde from main, and now they've got two here at ramp. Smoke goes in, but there's a gap there. Missed shot from Mantu. Oh. Alexa B tries to stand and deliver, but is only good for one. Favon's followed up onto Valde, and all across the map, bodies are falling in favor of Sprout. Issa trying as best he can to hold down this side of the map. Damage oh. through the wall from Diha, and now it's just Mantu. Mantu on Snatchy. It's the clash of the orps, and down through the vent goes Snatchy. He's out of there, into the B site. Mantu Whoa. in hot pursuit, drops the smoke on the molly, gives himself a fast rotation, but Snatchy in the doorway. It's eight for Sprout as he closes out the 1v1. You just gotta love it from Sprout, right? Even when things go bad, even when things don't go to plan and OG have these A stacks, the quick drop from Snatchy doesn't hesitate, doesn't think about it. And even though Mantu just smokes it off, I don't know what happened there. He stopped. Maybe he reconsidered. Maybe he thought Snatchy wasn't committing to B. He smokes it off. He hangs around for a couple of seconds, and that allows time for Snatchy to not only get the plant, but move back into Decon. All the ideas are there for Sprout. They have been working hard in the Prax servers. Dry running this for days, I bet. Eight rounds in a row. OG may have found the pistol and the follow-up, which was a full Glock round for Sprout. Well, since that point, there's been no issue. And I like it as well. You win a round, you call a pause. There were definitely problems in that one. Think of Dennis getting down towards B and still getting caught by Valde outside. Now, OG, they, they provided something at the beginning. MBK pushed out and did a lot of damage, but uh, that's the kind of thing that OG need to really be working with, catching Sprout off guard. At this point, holding sights and stacking and having the right info and reads is not enough. You're, you're still losing when you have three on the A site. You're still getting cleared and traded. And so the answer for OG has got to come down to things like what MBK just showed us. You're getting aggressive, catching Sprout out while they're lining up this utility. Not easy, of course. I'd love to see a heavy ramp set up, put Mantu there, aggressive with the AWP, try and walk into lobby like many AWPers do, scoped up. But it doesn't help when every round is something different. Every round, Sprout show us you know, something new. Let's keep an OG on their toes. MBK was in main. He just got tagged all the way down to 50 from the spam. Diha is the hot king. <laughs> 
Ooh. Oh, there's the response. That's from Ramp. That was Valde firing some shots back. Four damage, though. Look, man. <laughs> it's the principle that matters, Hugo. It's not about the damage. It's sending a message. You can spam. I can spam as well. Outside Smoke's going to get lined up here by Sprout. That's to facilitate this cross, and look, this time they look like they want to put it to good use. Mantu is here outside, but as has often been the case, he's going to struggle to have much of a say being in heaven with that AWP. He's dropped down. Looking for players crossing, and there's no gaps in these smokes. They will not falter. They're going to be allowed to get by. I like the sneak as well, right? Especially when there have been... Ooh, you didn't see it. Especially when there have been rounds of Sprout throwing these smokes and not doing anything with it. Mantu can't know. He can't be aware. He has to guess. Deha showing his presence outside. I'm going to see MBK try and assist from main, stop that cross towards Hell. Spitty boosting Snatchy up like he did back on the CT spawn of Inferno. Oh, Deha is going to clear this, and he does. MBK's gone down in main. It's going to be a B hit, though. That's pressure on the top side. Valde in the Zantara spot has got to do it all. He's got to hold strong, and they're not going to clear it. There's one. There's a second, just about. Snatchy's going to trade. The bomb's been dropped 10 seconds. The lurkout ramp is perfectly timed. It catches a player in the back from Fabin, and now Bomb Plant, two and two on the retake with no kit. Oh, Fabin in with another, and just Alexa B left creeping in. What can he even do here? The doors are open, but the door on this route might get closed shut unless Alexa B is able to get them back into it. Now down to the 1v1, but Snatchy, the man who planted this bomb, planted it for Ramp. He planted it with a purpose, and he holds it from Ramp side. This should be impossible, and there's the repeak. Nine on the board for Sprout. They're looking to lock in a spot in these playoffs. Do what Big couldn't and come into this as quite the underdog with quite the story to tell. As we've learned from this tournament, the rankings, you know, <laughs> they don't mean, I don't want to say they don't mean anything, but they don't mean you're going to win your games, right? Big number one already knocked out. OG number 10, Sprout number 49 on that ESL world ranking. And look at them now. Look at us holding a lead, a convincing one against OG. They're yet to drop around since those opening two. More pistols for this CT side. I'd be very careful in this hut and on this A site with all the spam coming through the smokes, through the walls. It's a wait patient. Oh, Flash actually hits Valde. Oh dear, they're all blind, but Diha gets away with it. Yeah, not only getting hit by the Flash, but getting blinded by it too. That is not how Valde wanted that to go. And well, Mantu's going to drop B after that one. Spitty getting tagged by the Deagle outside. Doesn't need to commit. He can just back up and live to tell the tale. He's got a teammate pushing Garage. MBK is looking outside, but he's missed the timing. It's already wrapping. There's Dennis. He's had some great timings on these lurks. Bavan dealing with another. And it's Mantu who dropped ramp, who flashed. Ash Valdi in earlier. Oh, if he finishes this kill, that's something, but not even. Spinny won't let it happen. And Sprout making it look easy, as they often do. It's nice, man. MBK had a matchmaking deagle there. 88 and 3. You know, the classic <laughs> number that we're all used to seeing. Oh. And then next round, you'll get 105 and 2. Don't you worry about it. It's 10 to 2 right now for Sprout. This is incredibly dominant from them. They look so at home here on Nuke. For me, a big question was, especially after Inferno, looking like it was their game to give away and it falling apart for them right at the very end, was do they have the resilience to grind back through another map? And I think I've got my answer. 10 and 2 right now. Snatchy looking to get that opening kill from the door again, but this time it does elude him. That's not too much of a problem. Sprout haven't built the entire round around nailing that shot. They wait in the door. Issa good for one, as he so often is. And there's no follow-up, sadly. Alexa B trying to do the damage from heaven as they look to drop through the vents. Rotations are coming in. Oh, and by the way, Dennis is in ramp. Like, actually in ramp. He was just side by side with Mantu. He's wrapping in through hell in the meantime. And MBK, he should have heard that Molotov. He should be aware that this wrap through ramp is a thing. Oh, but he's no. not. Oh. He's not aware. And they're still waiting down on B. They haven't pulled the trigger yet. They can go back through the vent. Dennis has just secured the A bomb site. Come on in, boys, oh. he yells from the heavens as they rotate back up. And this now, the mind games, just bigger than ever from Sprout. OG, they're left floundering. They don't even know where this play's ending up. And now it becomes all too clear. 
like we've said, even when OG know what's happening, even when they have the info and they have the right side stacked, that seems to not be enough. Issa getting one, getting traded, that's been his CT side all day long, uh, or at least on this map, rather. But in this case, OG, they rotate B wisely. MBK even falls out of heaven, but that's all the noise, that's all the audio Dennis needs to pounce from the back. And I love that call from Sprout. The hesitation on the B uh, secret control up the vent into A, 11 rounds, another save. Alexi B's gonna get away with his gun. That is a small victory. Yorp saved as well. They've got to continue to buy up. They can't start ecoing at 11 to two rounds left of the half, two chances to make this less of a mockery. But you can't, like, you know, as rough as this is for OG, as bad as it looks, you can't say anything but credit to Sprout. They have orchestrated this game plan from the get-go, every round with intention. From the sweaty A-site setups, the utility from the roof, mollying every corner, to the outside fakes, to the vent climbs. OG, they know no better. That's why I love that this is the third map in the series. Like, we know OG are playing their game right now, and yeah. they were looking good back on Inferno. And so that just gives even more credit to Sprout for making this look so damn easy. Now, Valder, keeping an eye on the door, oh. gets bested by Favon. This A site has a man loose in it, jingling around. It's going to be Issa getting that trade at the very, very least, and now has helped re-secure some semblance of control here at A. But as has often been the case, just because you've seen one guy there oh, no. doesn't mean it's going to be a play into that site. I love how many angles they do this on. They've done it on Secret. They've done it on B at the top of Banana. They're doing it here. This one's especially good because the ramp has a lower position, right? So Snatchy can view someone who thinks they're out of uh, view. Thinks they're lower than the orb can see. MBK can't see. Double flash. Fully blind. Cannot escape as he sits in the open on an off angle. And what can you do there if you're Nathan? Die. That's the only option. Sprout. They're down on this B bomb site. OG know it. They've gone for that rotate. You see Mantu still in CT spawn. He's scared of this heaven wrap that has burned Sprout before, or has burned OG before, but this time it's Sprout doing the burning in Decon, throwing in these Molotovs. It's, uh, is waiting. He's smoked off. It begins to fade. This wall bang. Oh, Deha ducks below it. He even fires back. Like, I'm here. You know it. There's nothing you can do about it. And OG, I hate to say it, Harry, they might have to save. That kill, though, that could open things up. That could tempt them back in. Snatchy dinked back, but Issa, he's falling off. I, I've never seen so many saves <laughs> in a game of Nuke. This is the eighth save for OG. The thing that's like even more wild is like, you know, this isn't a team that has like just one IGL who's like kind of all right. Like, you know, you've got so much brain power in OG. You've got MBK, legend of the French scene. You've got Alexa B, the savior of Finland. You got Valda from his part-time stint IGLing back in North. There's so many big brain individuals on the side of OG. And right now, Smitty's making a mockery of all of them. <laughs> He's four and seven through an Easter frag. Just call the perfect rounds, and that's all Sprout have been doing. This is a team that not only is looking like they're going to playoffs, but is going to be a real threat in this tournament. Online CS, it can get scary, it can get hairy, and it gets worse by the second. Snatchy with a double kill down on ramp. I don't know what to make of this anymore. OG, this is falling apart. Molly into the vents. MBK is close. With that door blown off, he can push in. But Dennis, oh, he's caught a target. He gets the season. Nice spot. Nice shot. Keeps OG in this round by the skin of their teeth. But there's still a man down, and B has been lost. <laughs> oh, you guys are all on A. Oh, that's fine. We'll go B. Uh, Alexa oh, no. B creeping into ramp. Surely not ready for Fab, and who could just have this kill dead to right. Alexa B cut down by the man waiting for rotations. MBK. Oh. Oh. Oh, it gets worse and worse by the second. You hate to see it now. Just Issa needs to ace clutch again. That's a phrase I've said so much with this man on our screens. And what can he do? Oh, more utility. This time they're almost out. It's only Fabon with a flash left. So finally the onslaught of utility is out the way. And now it's time for Issa to respond with some of his own. But so much time has ticked off this bomb. Issa looking for anything and running in. Back turn, spin. 
And there's more Counter-Strike where that came from. Let's go into the pistol round. CZ dropped onto Dennis. We've got a good bit of utility. OG, they've got a game plan. Where do they want to go? It looks like a ramp take. Nades into the A site. It's going to force the hand on this aggressive ramp push. They might walk right into the waiting arms. So the flash is perfect. Oh dear, it's a messy one. The Manti with a double. Not blinded. The T's were waiting. Dennis does not. He pushes in the back line and drops the bomb. Alexi B caught from the side. There's a late lobby lurk in the form of Snatchy. And every single position pushed by Sprout. Valde from B up the vents in a surely undoable clutch. Indeed, it is 14 to 2. Sprout, they might be about to do it to him. And when I say might, I mean it's very damn likely. Yeah. Like you lose that one if you're OG and you don't really have much left in the old tank. How could this go anywhere but the way of Sprouts, right? Like, even if even if OG have the ideas, even if they have the plans, how's the mentality right now? You're getting bullied, bruised, battered, beaten on a map that you are typically very comfortable on. Well, Sprout, so are they. Fast utility out the A site. Alexi, he's going to get mollied close. Maybe wanting to drop down the vents here. Ooh, MBK with that. That old oh, big molly that's going to land on the rafters. OG, they've got some tricks up their sleeves as well, but are they going to get to show them they need to win this round if they want oh. to? Oh dear, Snatchy thought he won the kill. Diha doubling down. How the hell do you observe this round? There's kills on all fronts, and it's Spitty alone in a clutch. Mantu ducking those shots and living to fight another day could be everything here for OG. Yeah, Mantu dropped down, Vents. Valde rerouting in through the lobby to ramp. It's a bit of a gamble, it feels like, but luckily enough, they've gambled correctly. Spitty won't ever see the light of day. At least not yet. This bomb going down towards lower B. Mantu is holding the vents and, you know, it's a very favorable fight to take, but he's very, very low. And so all it takes is a pre-fire here from Spiddy and Mantu is deleted. He drops down slow and low and that there is a recipe for success for Mantu. OG, they get a third round. Ooh. They finally break a 14 round streak from Sprout. But is it too little too late? Look at that. Look at that from Snatchy. He just <laughs> flies up the vent, does all the damage, thinks he's got the kill. That's a Harry Russell classic, actually. When you shoot someone, you think they're dead, you stop shooting, you die. But uh, Mantu, yeah, he's fast. He does the limbo, he gets below, and he wins the round for OG. 14 to 3. There's still a chance. Can't count them out, but OG have a long road to recovery. Alexi with his spawn drops vent. OG have smokes for the outside being lined up in the spawn as we speak, and they're going to move behind them. Now, the key is here is, are Sprout ready for Alexi lower? They should be, and that should cut off their rotation. Exactly that. Snatchy goes down the vent, regardless of re whether he's ready or not, he can't put a stop to the in-game leader of OG. And more kills to be found by this T side. Spitty's come through ramp, and he is also on B. So, oh gee, they are going to walk into somewhat of a stacked bomb site. All three players here, but they are well armed for the job. Oh, Spitty, only good for two. Diha now trapped, but there's Favon helping oh. out. The CZ with a double. Diha not in trouble yet. Pressure oh. for Favon, another one. Alexa B falls as well. And Sprout match and series point. Playoffs on the horizon. And one round away from getting there. A CZ and a Deeg and a bucket full of dreams. That's all they needed. One away now from solidifying a spot in the playoffs here at ESL 1 Cologne. Alf gets Sprout. That is just unbelievable. That is a round that you have to win if you're OG. Despite the stack, despite three players there, I'm sure OG weren't ready for it, but you are armed to the teeth. And a CZ from that range, I can barely get that gun to hit. But he just taps down three coming out of the door. If that, I mean, if OG weren't crushed already, that's going to do it. That's just going to blow you out of the water. Drowning. Oh my. Where are big now? Not needed, I guess. They got Sprout. They got the other German representation going to the playoffs. One round away from that exact factor. These two new Polish players were quite the pickup. Dennis and Spiddy, the old school boys of German Counter-Strike, are making it work once again. Pistols out for OG. And a long, long comeback that needs to be embarked upon if they want to get 
this game to OT. It feels impossible. It feels like Sprout have earned a hardy win here from behind the vent. Faven continuing to put up numbers. Here comes rotations. There's two invents. Oh. A nasty surprise for MBK. Mantu and Issa, all that remain. And while they do get one, there's a follow-up from Issa, but it's all on Mantu. 1v3. Deegout has found the first, not the follow-up, and Sprout.